Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to um, just make the site a little more responsive, uh, look a little better on mobile phones and uh, tablets. So basically, if we resize this, you can see that uh, this would probably be maybe a small laptop or even a big tablet view. And this doesn't look good at all. Okay, so this just looks horrible. Um, basically what we want to do is create some media queries for specific sizes and then just add certain classes or change certain elements of classes um, using media queries so if we keep going actually this is a tablet view right here okay you can see that this little button is now shown and we can click it and it has a nice little drop down with our navigation okay so that happens by default with bootstrap as long as you're using the JavaScript file and it's included correctly. Um, you know, this this actually down here doesn't look too bad. Okay, so that's because we're using a grid. Um, but there are some things we need to do. For instance, I want to get rid of this this image here, this big iPhone, um, just because it's just it's just too big. All right, so we're going to remove that from certain sizes. The buttons need to be um, fixed as well. We should change, make these a little smaller. Um, if we keep going down to a mobile size, you can see that um, the buttons are very small. This, this image is just horrible. Uh, and this stuff here looks good. We just need to, looks like we need to add a little padding underneath here, okay, to separate these a little better. All right, and we also want to remove any padding here that we have. And then down here, we may want to just. Uh, maybe just get rid of the the menu completely um, or we can figure something else so let's go ahead and write our media queries okay so we want to specify the sizes uh, in our CSS file I'm just gonna put a little comment here okay so we'll start with um, We'll start with when this when the screen is really big. So if we stretch this out, okay, and we want to go to about 1,200 pixels. All right. So to make a media query, we need the at symbol, and then media, and then it's set up kind of like a function. We have the parentheses. This is going to take in the width. So maxed width, and we're going to say 1,200 pixels. Okay, so whenever the um, this is gonna this is gonna matter to anything that's below 1,200 pixels. So let's just uh, run a little test. Okay, so we'll say body display none, and let's just make that important. Okay, and then if we reload, you can see that it's still there, but if we shrink it. It disappears, and that's because the body is set to display none as long as we're under 1200 pixels. So when we hit 1200 pixels, it kicks back in because that style no longer applies. All right, so we want to just have a, uh, a couple different queries with different sizes. All right, so next let's do a max width of 991. Okay, and basically the reason for this is anything that's under 991 I want to get rid of that phone image okay because it's just too big next uh, for this one whoops this is gonna have to do with the app buttons and the jumbotron okay so we're gonna do a min width of um, 768 whoops and then we're going to say and a max width of 990 okay so this is going to apply to whenever the window or the screen is between these two sizes Okay, so let's just do a test again for that. 
What am I doing? Sorry, I cannot type today. So display none important. And if we reload, okay, it's still showing, so it's not in between those two sizes. When we hit 990, it disappears. When we hit around 768, it should kick back in. Okay, so that's working. And let's see, the next one I want to do is going to be a min width of 768. So I'm just going to take this out. All right. And then the final one we want to do is for phones in particular because we're going to do a 500 pixel, which is really small. So uh, we're going to say max max width 500 pixels and I'm going to take this out all right so these are the media queries that I want to use so I want to start with this phone I want to uh, remove that when we get to a certain size okay which is this size here so under the max width 991, we're going to say phone. Actually, what did we use phone for a class? I think we use something different. Uh, where is it? Right here. Yeah, we used showcase image. Okay, so showcase image, display, none. Okay, so now it shouldn't show. Let's reload. All right, so that looks better. Now for these buttons here, originally we have them set at 40%. You can see if we go right here, we have 40%. But I want to make those a little smaller. Um, I want to make them 30% when we're in between these two um, values here. So we we'll gonna paste that. Okay, so the margin we don't want to touch, that's going to stay the same. Uh, we just want to change the width to 30%. Okay, so now you can see that the buttons have gotten a little smaller. Now, we have a little too much space under here, um, so I want to change the height of the Jumbotron. Okay, so in the same block here, we'll say Jumbotron. And let's go ahead and set the height to 400 pixels. And let's say important, just so it overwrites the default. And then um, I want to change the background size. So background size. And I'm going to change this to 100% and 100%. Okay, so let's check that out. Okay, so that looks better. The the um, H1 here is a little too low, so I'm going to change that as well. So um, we want to say Jumbotron H1, and I'm going to set the margin top to 10 pixels, which is much much less than the default. Okay, so that looks better. Oop. So if I resize this, you can see the layout change. All right, so the next thing is going to be um, between, actually, no, I'm sorry. The next thing is going to be under 768, which goes like right here. All right, you can see this doesn't look very good. Um, I'm going to change the height of the Jumbotron itself. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this here and paste that here. And I'm going to change the height to 350 and um, leave the background size as is. So let me just uh, save that, reload. All right, 
right? So it doesn't look like the size is changing. Jumatron, height 500. Huh. Min width 768. Oh, oh. This needs to be um, max width. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to change this to max. All right, there we go. So that looks better. Let's actually move um, the heading here. It has too much space above it. So I'm going to just copy this here. Like that. There we go. Now let's bring it down to uh, smartphone size, which would be about here. Okay, so we want to change a few things. One is if you look at the background image, it's all scrunched up. So uh, rather than try and deal with the sizing, I'm going to just remove it altogether for uh, smartphones. Okay, so to do that, um, let's see. I'm just going to copy this and then um, let's see, I'm going to set background image to none. Oops, we need to, actually we need the um, we need to have a, the background color. I don't even know if I did that. Yeah, up here where we have the Jumatron, we need to, um, before the URL, we need to set the color to 1CAA98. Okay, so that way we still have our color. All right, so you'll notice now that we can't see the word life. Actually, wait, this isn't the right color. This isn't the right color. It needs to be the dark yeah, so I'm going to change this to um, 1B222A. There we go. All right. For the uh, H1 here, I'm going to center that. I'm actually going to center all the text here. So let's go back down. And I think I can just put it in this here. Text align, center. All right, so that looks good for the text. Now the buttons we have to change, obviously. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to just paste in. I'm going to copy this and paste that in here. Okay, so as far as the width, I'm going to change this to 60. And then I'm going to set margin zero uh, auto actually margin top will be zero right will be auto uh, bottom will be 30 pixels and then left will be auto so it pushes it to the middle and we need to make sure that it's displayed as a block for that to work all right so this background here is a little too small, so we need to make that bigger as well, um, which is the Jumbotron. I'm going to set the height to 450. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, the rest of this stuff, we should probably put some um, margin here. Let me just... Yeah, so on the column, you know what, let's just do that up here. We don't need a media query. Let's just, uh, we'll say call MD, um, call MD4, margin, bottom, 20 pixels. All right, so that moved that down, so that looks better. 
I want to first of all take away the padding here. You can see how the, the list is pushed over. Um, so I'm going to set that in the main CSS. Okay, so let's find feature. Cool. So I want to grab this here. And I'm going to set the padding to zero and also the margin to zero. Okay, so that should get rid of that. And I want to make the text a little smaller when we're viewing it uh, on a smartphone. So let's say, we'll say ULLI. And let's set the font size to 19 pixels. Make it important. Okay, so that looks a little better. Uh, the footer down here we need to fix. I want to make these so they're on their own line because right now they're they're floated, which is making it mess up a little bit. So um, in the HTML, I believe that we can say along with the call MD6, let's do call, call XS for extra small. I think it stands for 12. So that when it's a small screen, it should be a 12 column. All right, and then we also want to set set footer uh, footer p. We don't want any float, so float none. Text uh, text align center. Oh, good. And then we'll just add uh, let's add a little padding on the top. All right, so that looks good. Let's go to the about page. Okay, that looks good. The, the um, accordion's fine. Looks good. Contact, form looks good. Oh, actually here, um, just like we did on the index, we added this call XS12. We want to do that on the other two pages as well. All right. So that's good. That's it. Um, we have a fully responsive bootstrap website. I will see you in the next project. Thanks.